Hello, welcome Bro, back to another nice, League Racing video today. It is PSGL Bahrain. Uh, heading into this round, like still just about in the championship hunt. Um, oh, very unlikely we'll yeah, be able to challenge it into the final two rounds, but uh, yeah, here obviously coming to the end of the game, you just want to drive flat out, have a bit of fun, um, and do as best as we possibly can really um, the championship hunt is obviously against Thomas Ronhart and Barry Borrowman so two of the well I'd say arguably the two quickest on the game over one lap um, so yeah it's gonna be really hard to compete in quality but we can definitely do something in in the race but obviously it's always hard when you're starting about three four positions behind them usually on average so um yeah, hopefully heading into the new game we can sort that out. Um, is it, I, I guess it's just like a confidence thing on this game, I don't know. Um, just in quality, not being able to push it flat out consistently. Um, hopefully it changes for the next game, it goes a bit in my way. But um, yeah, so far on this lap though, this is Q1. Um, few oversteer moments. Um, looking back on it, I can definitely see I'm a little bit under the limit compared to the other guys, but I mean, that just comes with confidence, I guess, um, and this time we just didn't have it on this game, so yeah, it's what it is. Got to push through it and see what we can do, really. Um, but yeah, 6-0 split, not too good. It's looking likely heading into this race that we weren't <laughs> very quick at all, if I'm being honest. Point zero split. Yeah. That's not good. To get anywhere near, as yeah, uh, Connor good. in the background it's say, that's not, not good. Nice. Um, to get anywhere near, um, I mean, anywhere near the top five in Q3, we're going to need to PB. And yeah, practice wasn't great. Um, had like a high nine PB, which is literally awful. Considering I did very minimal running for F1 Esports and did a point seven, so uh, yeah, not ideal, but it's what it is. Uh, you see her into the final corner on our second run, easy, comfortable uh, to get us through at the final corner, just over a tenth and a half up, and that will safely see us through up in P6, which I will do. Um, yeah, P6 confirmation. Um, and yeah, this is uh, safe, never mind. This is the finale. Um, <laughs> I just remembered uh, we are the, out. We are out uh, the uh, championship Chris fight, um, and we're basically uh, just fighting against Wilson Hughes and Istvan Puki for P3. So yeah, it's it's pretty much just. I went into this race not really caring about the championship, I just wanted to get as high up as possible, um, get a good final race in PSGL, but obviously in the back of my head I got, uh, I do want to beat Wilson and Istvan, um, because I oh think Barry God. and Thomas were a bit in the league of their own, oh um, no. a little bit, but yeah, definitely all possible, definitely can fight for it, <clears> but... <throat> Now this is this is a very important lap. We need to get this um, last car across the line into turn one, just before the hundred meters. Down into four. I actually took fourth. I think everyone knows that I, I usually use a bit lower of the gears, so it shows I'm still experimenting with the gears um, heading into this race. Considering I'm using fourth through turn one, when I've always used third up to fourth. So yeah, still. Trying to work it out. 109 sector 1, pretty good for Q2. Um, holding 6th for here, up to 7th, down to 3rd, getting the rotation. As you hit the apex, up to 4th, and let the car rotate around on exit, um, on on the throttle. 4th uh, gear now, pretty tidy lap so far, to be honest. Um, no major mistakes, pretty clean. Still a little bit under the limit, but... 
yeah, it's, it's definitely a decent lap, this one. Um, see it pretty, pretty nicely through there. Hugging the inside to get it to... Oh, that was close. And um, we're actually double purple, apparently, but I don't believe that. Um, we're actually uh, only about three, four hundredths off of Thomas Ronar into the last sector. So, it's looking a pretty good lap, but then into the final corner. Just did what we had to do. Lost a bit of time in the final sector, about tenth, tenth and a bit. Um, so yeah, sixth yeah. again. <laughs> That'll do. Um, definitely could have well done, challenged. I lost challenged it all in that. Um, what third? I reckon. Sense, but, but yeah, yeah is what it is. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. <laughs> I was kind of saying there because I was practicing with Connor a bit before. The uh, fight is for P4 because um, just knowing my pace and the practice, it was not very good at all. But yeah, who knows? Might pull out an absolute clanger. Wait, <laughs> also, might not. Uh, but across the line, first lap. Wilson's PB was a point seven as well. He said yeah, Wilson, hey, our so rival. He's he's done a PB two temps two and a bit times faster than us. So it just shows the practice we did it was just brilliant. But um, yeah, now this is where it counts. Uh, Wilson actually got knocked out, so we're definitely on the front foot here. But yeah, starting a final lap now. Um, I am still ill, <laughs> by the way. If, if you're wondering why I'm struggling, but yeah, in someone just before the hundred meter, down into fourth once again, getting. Decent rotation there actually, missed the apex slightly but got good traction, Ooh, bit, bit of a snap over still on exit but got away with it. Um, up the hill, just before the 50, down is 4th up to 5th, pretty nicely, early on for all, that was pretty nice. 0 7, 7 first, pretty decent for my standards. Um, then 7th down to 3rd again, getting good rotation, that's pretty nicely through there. Good traction again. Uh, well, it wasn't actually. It didn't really gain on the delta, but yeah, it was decent. Um, through the downhill left, bit under the, just so under the limit through that. I'm losing about half tenth to a tenth there on everyone. Um, but yeah, this one just guessing because we didn't have the board, missing the apex slightly, not ideal. Um, now through the fast right under, new tires, scrubbing less speed, five one through the middle. Not too bad. Decent exit out of there as well. So yeah, it's looking for a PB at the moment. <laughs> Which, yeah, I was kind of... Well, not very happy with. If I didn't get PB, then I'd be pretty embarrassed, to be honest. Um, but yeah, it's a 9.66, which puts yeah, us sick on the grid. Yeah. On a P6, I believe. Good lap, Jake. So, um... Yeah, I consider it. Q1, Q2, <laughs> and Q3, we got P6. So yeah, like, like, like Connor said there, PB, um, I needed that. Um, <laughs> even though the lap's really not very good for the status you want to be driving up, the practice I did, the pace I had, the setup I had, that is pretty, pretty solid. Um, get a podium. As I'm um, saying, get a podium. Um, but yes, yeah, three, four, five real lights, and away we go for the finale of PSGL. What's the start like? <laughs> oh God, <laughs> that is horrible. We're gonna go to the outside though. Otis on the inside. Is he gonna push wide? We got all this space around the outside to push into. Oh, and then Longay just completely turns across our front wing. Um, yeah, not at all. Uh, Brendan now fighting us around the outside. We can't break too late because we don't want to go into the back of Otis. Brennan's got the high, high ground around the outside. And it looks like he's going to get the move done, is he? Around the outside, we back out of it a little bit here. Try and... Oh my god, Brendan. Ah, no, I don't know why I moaned up Brendan there. I turned in a bit early. Um, but yeah, now we got Philip around the outside on us. We get good traction though. Philip's still on the inside here. Um, we got the outside. Philip so punts Philip. Brendan. Good job. <laughs> so I'm already angry, um, and we've done about 10 corners, so uh, yeah, <laughs> interesting. So yeah, Wilson's 
had a really good start from about P12 up to 9th already in half a lap, so he's had a really good solid start. Um, Lucas as well, yeah, gained 8 positions say, from the back. 14th. There's a three oh, second no, gap. Lucas, Lucas is on mediums. Lucas is on mediums. Okay. Some yeah, so as, as you hear in the party there, yeah, there's a three second gap. Lucas on mediums. Wilson up to 12th. Um, as I, I wasn't sure if I had damage. I don't think I did. Um, yeah, check the I didn't really do any race, yeah, so I didn't really know what the car was feeling like. Um, so yeah, well, I didn't really know, but skipping all the way onto eight now. Um, used a bit of ERS. You see, it just <laughs> I was not very quick at all. Um, I don't know if I, I I was kind of contemplating where I had damage because the pace was just such a struggle. Um, it didn't feel overly understeery. I just uh, had no pace. So. Yeah, I'm I think it was a talent issue, here. but maybe I had damage, I don't know. Um, but yeah, Philip behind, Barry actually making a comeback as he had a screen freeze and um, dropped like five or six, no, a lot more than five or six positions. But um, yeah, Barry dropped about 12 positions, so he's, he's on the comeback fighting the championship against Thomas Ron Ives in the lead. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, just up behind ben Brendan. I didn't feel under pressure being eight or nine, eight or nine tenths behind him. Like I felt pretty comfortable. It was just here and there I would gain my ERS and then have to use a little bit. As Barry actually got past us a few laps ago, um, we let him go just because I didn't want to get in the battle with him and Thomas and you know uh, everyone knows why really. But um, yeah, lap 15 now. Uh, I don't even want to talk about this. This is the most stupid move I have ever done in my life. Basically, my thought process was here. I don't know what it is, but I'm convinced the game changes over time. Um, and you see, I didn't really want to do that, but we had to. But yeah, I I just I don't know why. I, a while ago that this this um undercut was a very big undercut um the mediums fired up quite quickly and it was just yeah it was all right but see so yeah, it straight away i know the tires are cold but if you look at the gap to dinner more on 8.6 8.7 8.8 8.9 is it gonna be eight we lost two and a half temps through there and he's on old hards compared to our fresh mediums. And yes, I know they have to heat up, but that is quite an absurd amount of time. You see, we're still losing nine seconds. And by this point, I was like, I knew that this was wrong. Already, I knew that this was wrong. So I've gone in from attack mode to, oh, I need to whole position pretty much in this race and yeah it's a horrible feeling but realistically see if we've been overcut by Brendan and Lucas so yeah that was a bit of an odd one I, if I'd have done obviously a race run or something I would have known that this was the case and it, it makes sense why I was one of the earliest to pit um, but yeah, lesson learned. Uh, move on to the next one. Um, but yeah, you see in the pits now Wilson there, the the orange dot. He's gone. What's that? Four laps longer than us, and he's come out 2.8 behind, 3.1. So, hmm, that's. Yeah, he, he should be able to gain that gap back, unless we drive an insane stint. Um, but, the, but in all fairness, in the second stint we started to come alive. Um, Barry on the inside here coming out, we... Okay. Yeah, I, I, okay. I don't know really right, what yeah. happened there. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought I left real on the inside, but Barry on the Colts uh, understeered a little bit, a little bit wide. I, I thought he would kind of let me go, because he's 
come out on cold tides, see you losing a lot of time. Um, so yeah, that kind of harmed us both a little bit. Um, but you see the, most importantly, the gap behind to Wilson, uh, Ismail Fassi, and I think that's Istvan Puki. 3.7, so <clears throat> yeah, that's that's all we need. Um, it's looking very likely they're not going to be able to gain that to us uh, so far. It, it, so yeah, it, consider it, with all things considered, um, we are looking likely to take P, uh, P3 in the championship. Unless something horrible goes wrong. Um, so yeah, not too bad at this point. Um, but I say that, I, it's not exactly the position I want to be in. The strategy was horrible. Um, obviously I wanted to be in <clears throat> about nine positions higher, but <laughs> um, yeah, pretty terrible race, but hey ho, this is a bit of a learning curve this race, so yeah, it's not, it's not the end of the world, it happens. Um, we're actually starting to gain on Ismail just for the help of Barry turning us along a bit. Um, so yeah, at this point, seven laps to go. 3.8 seconds behind, 3.7. Um, it's alright. We're, we're in a good position. Um, this will do. Uh, and yeah, it's just pretty much chill to the end. Um, so we need to do just get help Philip uh, let Philip uh, right this is interesting um, into the final corner though oh my you are so useless honestly you can't drive yeah oh my days mate so we lost what four four and a half seconds through getting punted penalty for speed then no, it was no. for Dylan hit him off track. Overtaking under a yellow flag. Oh, Thomas got a it there. So we it's, went from comfortably it's, claiming P3 it's, it's to now behind our rival because pace, we've yeah, been yeah, punted um, into the next generation <laughs> yeah. of uh, mankind. Right, so, um, yeah, this is just yeah. embarrassing at this stage. Yeah. Man. Right, I'm gonna retire in this lap. I wanna see what's As going you see, on. I'm actually gonna retire because by this no, point, this time, but he'll get him next I wasn't time. really too worried. I did what I had to do. No, um, a bit of an unfortunate incident, and Who, there was actually an incident happening up in front between Nicholas Longay and <clears throat> Thomas Ronner, and I really he's wanted to watch it. No. You say into pits. I, I and now we're actually going to retire and watch the, uh, the end of the race. I would not ever out, usually do this, but since I'm, how well, no. how that just went, I I just I could not be bothered. Like I just wanted to watch the end. Um, after getting screwed like that, it's just a bit ridiculous. Um, you see, Longe doing some interesting tactics. <laughs> 27 seconds of penalties, so <laughs> he was trying to help his teammate Barry Boromans, but in the end, uh, Thomas actually got a penalty, so uh, Barry Boromans is a champion, um, so fair play to him, fair play to Thomas as well. Good championship between them. Shame we couldn't fight it. Um, definitely felt like I could. I could have fought them. Um, if I just didn't have those two races in the mid-season where I didn't score. Um, but yeah, that is it. That's PSGL for 2022. Um, on F1 2022, sorry. Um, the new season's starting pretty soon, to be honest. Um, so yeah, hopefully everyone watches that on the new game. Should be bigger and better than ever. So yeah, appreciate everyone watching. And see you in the next one. Cheers.